Guys, so we had a DSTV Premiership action. Was Stellenbosch going up against Mamluri Sundowns? Game ending 1-1. Uh, two teams in the top five. Um, so these points are very crucial, but it shared spoils. Uh, I have to say, I think when you watch the game, the win did play a huge role with regards to the, with regards to the game, especially considering in the first half the win favored uh, Stellenbosch, and you could see that they were always trying to play the ball down the left, and with the wind, it helps the ball to sort of travel towards Ashley Dupier. But that was something that they just kept on doing. Uh, um, the whole time you could definitely see that was the plan from theirs in terms of having to have that transitional play and also at sundowns because of the wind was against them they didn't have to always have to kick it long they have to always pass it short and i think stellenbosch saw that as a weakness because they kept pressing them at times but the time that with stellenbosch they just kept on doing that thing down the left and that's where the goal came from with the gods to actually appear making the run kulisam dao makes the tackle and they get the penalty in the second half i think stellenbosch knew that a lot of pressure was going to come towards them so they retreated a little bit i i didn't think it was necessarily a good idea but also the fact that they put in so much energy within the first half so possibly to be pressing like that the whole time eventually it's gonna sort of take a lot of energy out of you and the thing is with Mamluri Sanon when you keep inviting pressure they eventually find a way to score a goal it's not always going to be the one that they walk it into the back of the net and you could see what a special strike from Lala K and and that ball came to the cross and he got it he hits it as well and I think that was also my frustration with Mamluri Sanon a little bit was that the, they kept on playing down the right I don't know if I don't know if that was the plan or if that was the tactic to keep playing down the right because there was also weapons with the guys to the left, the hand side as well. Um, Lala K being on the left and as well as Shaolile being pushed out to the left a little bit. I didn't like that. I thought that it sort of reduces his, his, uh, his, his, his weapon in terms of having to be the focal point. But Safranco is introduced and he's obviously pushed out wide. Uh, but... I think when you look at the game overall, I thought Sundowns weren't really going to score after the Lala K, regardless of the pressure. And I think Stellenbosch will take the point. And that is a huge compliment to Mamluri Sundowns. The fact that whichever team takes a point off them is a good result for them. But that was the game.